In this video, I'd like to talk about determining similar triangles by comparing their side lengths. And remember that similar triangles are the same shape, but are usually different sizes. And within similar triangles, when comparing the two, they have three sets of correspondingly equal angles. So if you know the angle measures in one triangle and you have the same angle measures in another triangle, then you know that the two triangles are similar. But another way to determine if triangles are similar is that the side lengths will be proportional. So let's look at a specific example and think about what that means in greater detail. So let me make a little bit of room and then we can paste in a triangle that we can say is similar to this triangle ABC. And this won't be drawn to scale, but let's say that this side length is length 12, this one is length 8, and this one is length 14. And essentially, this smaller triangle is half of this larger one. Or in other words, this smaller triangle, each of these side lengths have been multiplied by 2. They've been doubled. And one common theme that you see with similar triangles is that if you look at the ratio of corresponding sides, that they're always equal to the same number. Or in other words, if we take, let's say, the long side, which is length 14, and compare it to the long side on this triangle, which is length 7, if we look at their ratio, if we divide here, we get 2. And this will be true if we compare any of the corresponding sides. Meaning that if we take this middle side length, which has length 12, and compare it to the middle side of this triangle here, which is length 6, we also get 2. And if we look at the smaller sides, this one has length 8, and this one has length 4. Notice that in each of these ratios, they are all equal to the same number, and in this case, that number is 2. So in conclusion, we would say that the side lengths are proportional to each other. Going from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle, each of these side lengths are multiplied by the same number. Or if we want, we can go in reverse. We can look at the larger triangle and compare it to the smaller triangle. Again, we're comparing corresponding sides. And we can see that we are dividing by the same number. Going from 8 to 4, we're dividing by 2. Going from 14 to 7, we are also dividing by that same number, division by 2. And we can use this idea to figure out if these two triangles are similar to this triangle ABC. So let's first start by making just a bit of room and then we can start comparing the side lengths. So let's start by scrolling over a bit and let's look at option A here. And what we wanna do is compare the long side of this smaller triangle to the long side of the bigger one and see if that ratio, their quotient, is the same when comparing the other corresponding sides. So DE, that's length 12, and we'll look at the ratio of that side to side AB, which is seven. And if we carry out this division, we want to see if this is the same ratio when comparing, let's say, the middle side lengths, which are nine and six. And this should also be equal to the ratio of the smaller side lengths which would be seven to four. But at this point, you can see that this is not true. They do not have the same ratio when comparing corresponding side lengths. For instance, when you put 12 over seven into the calculator, we get 1.714, and it's a block of numbers that's gonna repeat. So let's just say approximately 1.71, and nine over six, that's 1.5, and 7 over 4, that is 1.75. So you can see that the side lengths in this case, when comparing it to A, these are not proportional. So triangle DEF is not similar to triangle ABC. But if we look at this option B here, we can follow the same process, looking first at the long sides. So GI and AB, that's 10.5 divided by 7 and we want to see is this equal to the ratio of the middle side lengths 
So in this case, we have hi, which is 9, and we'll divide that by 6. And if these are similar, this should also be equal to the ratio of the smaller side lengths. Hg compared to Cb, which would be 6 over 4. And if we simplify all these, if we actually carry out the division here, we will actually get the same number for all these. As decimals, these are all 1.5. And since all of the side lengths are proportional to the corresponding side lengths in our given triangle, we know that these two triangles are similar. And choice B will be the correct answer. And remember, once you prove that two triangles are similar, we now also know that the corresponding angles are equal as well meaning this angle A between the longest side and the middle side will be equal to this angle I, since that is also between the long side and the middle side. This angle C between the small and the middle will be equal to angle H here. And likewise, between the small side and the large side, angle B here, this will be equal to angle G here. And looking at these ratios is certainly one way to approach it. Now, the other way to approach it is to ask yourself, what number do you multiply by to go from the small triangle or each of these smaller side lengths to the bigger triangle? Meaning if we look at the smallest side here, four, we can ask, what do we multiply by to get to six? And you can see we multiply by 1.5. Or you can go in reverse, starting at the bigger triangle, you could ask, what do you divide by to get back four? And you can see this multiplicative factor, this proportionality constant, is the same when we compare any of the other corresponding side lengths. If we take six and multiply it by 1.5, we get nine. And if we take seven and multiply it by 1.5, we do get 10 and a half. So there are many different ways to determine if a triangle is similar to another one. You can look at the proportions here, or you can just ask, what are you multiplying by to go from one corresponding side to the next? Or what are you dividing by when you're comparing the bigger triangle to the smaller triangle?